Hey everybody, it's Joe Jonas hanging with Jag. Hi, this is Carly Rae Jepsen, and you're listening to Jag. Ryan Seacrest with Jag. It's B.O.B. So much swag with my homie Jag. And now, a look at this week in podcasting news. It's the Jag Show Podcast. Welcome in. I am John Gay. Sometimes it is a slog to produce a podcast. Coming up with new content is hard, and most studies will tell you that consistency is key, that listeners should know when to expect new content every month, every week, every two weeks, whatever it is. But today I'm going to give you a different angle. Don't. People have such limited attention spans. Don't ask them to spend time with content that even as the creator, you aren't confident in. Case in point, yesterday's press conference from Michigan's governor, Gretchen Whitmer. The CDC was pressuring her to shut the state back down since we lead the nation in COVID numbers right now. Governor Whitmer, who, full disclosure, I am a fan of, refused to do that, shut the state down, but she did call a presser yesterday afternoon. So rumors are swirling about the announcement of a 45-day lockdown for Michigan and all kinds of other stuff. What did the governor do? Nothing. She emphasized the importance of vaccines and new COVID treatments and social distancing and masking, but she effectively changed Nothing. I was expecting news, and I got none. Just more jokes about governments having meetings to decide to have meetings. When delivery doesn't meet expectations, you turn people away. You turn them off. The same is true of your podcast, which reminds me, no Jag show next week due to some scheduling conflicts. Don't put out content just for the sake of putting out content. Okay, on to this week's news. More from Steve Goldstein and James Cridlin's look at Apple's 2 million podcasts. Only eight percent have over 10 episodes and have released in the last week. As I've said before, competition, not as stiff as you thought. Only 8% have double digit episodes and are still releasing weekly. Link to this study in the show notes. On the other side of the device divide, we go to Android. Google Podcasts now at 100 million installs. That is up from only 50 million at the beginning of this year. Podcast hosts now say that Google Podcasts is the clear number three platform behind Apple and Spotify. So make sure your podcast is also listed on Google Podcasts. Theoretically, Google's going to crawl your podcast website like it would a regular website, but you can help it along by claiming your show at podcastsmanager.google.com. Link in the show notes if you need help. From two of the biggest podcasters around, Mark Maron's going to take home the first ever Governor's Award from the Podcast Academy, their highest honor. Meanwhile, Spotify very quietly deleted 42 more episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience. I'm not going to get into debate about censorship here, but when you take $100 million from a company, you got to play by their rules. Speaking of Spotify, they have debuted their own charts for top podcasts and top episodes. Beware, Apple. Objects in your mirror may be closer than they appear. If you're looking to record a podcast with multiple people in the same room, Rode Microphones announced the Rode Connect, which is going to allow you to connect four of their NT-USB mini microphones to one computer with its own mixer to control everybody's volume individually. This is definitely better than putting a Blue Yeti in the middle of a table, but I will say if you're all in the same room, be aware of mic bleed, that is microphones picking up other people around, stay as far apart as possible. The press release from Rode uh, via Pod News is linked in today's show notes. Also, the new software for the Rodecaster Pro Mobile Studio is still in beta. I have not tried it yet. Let someone else work out the kinks, not me while I'm recording a client's podcast. Podcasting continuing to be a silver lining in the pandemic. UK podcast host producer Audio Boom has tripled their revenues in 2020 from 2019. They made $26.8 million last year, according to Podcast Business Journal. If you are a young podcaster, the New York Times has its fourth annual student podcast competition open to ages 11 to 19. Link in today's show notes. And this week in podcast acquisition, Libsyn has bought podcast monetization platform Glow and Vox Media has acquired Cafe Studio, which was founded by former U.S. attorney Preet Bharara. And finally, big piece of news in the evolution of podcasting. Gimlet Media and Bill Simmons The Ringer, both of which are owned by Spotify, have ratified a union contract with the Writers Guild of America East. It establishes job security and paid vacation for writers, and get this, a starting salary of $57,000, or roughly three times what I made in my first radio job back in 2004. As always, stay healthy and stay safe. I will talk to you in two weeks. Later. If you like what you just heard, share The Jag Show with someone else who's interested in podcasts. 
You can also follow The Jag Show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Visit jagindetroit.com.